Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Kingsguard channel fan account. Today is April 1st and it's an exciting day here today in central London as we are hoping to see the King's lifeguards in their spring and summer attire. So right now we're just on the edge of Green Park and we're walking towards Constitution Hill and Wellington Arch because we're expecting to see the lifeguards ride through there. Let me just angle this again. There we go. Apologies for the angle just then. We are expecting to see the lifeguards ride through Wellington Arch this morning. It's a glorious day here today. Finally, the weather is picking up. Now, believe it or not, yesterday was meant to be the day when the guards switched to their summer attire. But as the weather's been really bad lately here in the UK, that they were allowed to keep their winter attire on. So today is gonna to be super exciting to see whether they have made the switch or not. Now, for some reason, my gimbal is on an angle. So let me just try and rectify that. Bear with me for a moment as it finds its stabilization. Okay, so you can see, here we go. You can see there are already police here waiting to open the gate here for the lifeguards to ride through. And we're literally on the edge of Hyde Park Corner here. So right in front of us is Wellington Arch, stunning archway and what we're going to do this morning is we're going to wait for the lifeguards to ride through the central column here and we're going to walk down with them by the side of the garden of Buckingham Palace just here that wall right there and we're going to go all the way along the mall towards Horse Guards Parade. So the reason why we're waiting here is because the guards themselves leave the ballots at 10.28 a.m. That's in a few minutes time. And all this traffic here will be stopped by police to allow the guards to ride through the archway and continue over the road but what are we going to see are we going to see them in their winter attire or are we going to see them for the first day of this year in their spring and summer uniforms I really hope they are in their new attire they're going to look they will look incredible I'm just going to roll this video continuously so you see events unfold quite naturally. Like I said, it is the 1st of April, Monday, typical London morning here in central London. Big red buses, black taxis. commuters and tourists. So let me know where you're tuning in from. Whereabouts in the world are you watching this video? Do make sure to give this video a like as well. It really helps the algorithm pick up the video for people like yourself to enjoy and watch. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
nice vintage car just over there you can see amongst the modern traffic so with regards to what's happening this morning the household cavalry are stationed at Hyde Park Barracks that is the Blues and Royals Regiment and the Lifeguards Regiment and we're expecting to see the changeover this morning with the Lifeguards this morning and it should be the first time this year that we see them in their new uniform in their summer uniform now how did these people get up there I didn't know you could do that. They say you learn something new every day and that's my thing that I've learned today that you can actually stand at the top of Wellington Arch. That's an incredible viewpoint. So you can see these police here on standby so as soon as they begin to open the gate, that's when we know the household cavalry will be riding through. Now I'm going to do my best at walking side by side with them. I'm going to walk next to them all the way up to Buckingham Palace, which is about just over a five minute walk behind me right now. And then they will continue down the mall and on to Horse Guards Parade, which is in Whitehall. So altogether, we're going to walk with them for about 15 minutes or so. And it's going to be a glorious walk here this morning as the sun is shining. And hopefully their uniforms, their scarlet uniforms are bright red. Lots of exciting things happening this week with the Household Cavalry. We have some fantastic events coming up, so make sure you stay tuned, like this video and subscribe to stay up to date. Really do take pride and passion in bringing you the best content here all about the king's guards unmarked video unmarked vehicle just there so yeah as i was saying we really take pride of bringing you around London and showing you the King's Guards and we are approaching 300,000 subscribers so thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in okay so not so long to go the guards will have probably just left the barracks over in the park and then they are soon to ride through this archway. But I'm super excited to see what uniform they're wearing. Is it their winter uniform still? Or is it going to be their summer uniform? The first time seen in 2024. Another unmarked vehicle here. Unless that's the same one, just spinning around in circles.
So sit back everyone, relax. Get yourself a cup of tea, true British style. That's what we like. Now lots of people here, they'll be making their way through to Buckingham Palace for changing up the guard this morning, which is happening in about half an hour's time or so. Now I believe this is Constitution Hill here. And right on top of these structures here, they do sometimes have fire roaring out of the top. So at night time, it looks really impressive. A symbolic area indeed. So what will happen when the guards ride through, the police will stop the traffic here so they can ride safely through. But before that, they will also stop the traffic on the other side over this way. Now it really is just a waiting game, but they should be arriving anytime soon. And one thing that is quite amazing is when someone doesn't expect to see the cavalry ride through central London, let's say they're just visiting and they stumble upon the cavalry. It's quite amazing to see their faces light up, smiling, seeing something they didn't expect. And they look incredibly regal and powerful, especially with this amazing backdrop as well. And you can see right there, it says Duke of Wellington Place, SW1. That is the wall to the gardens of Buckingham Palace. Very, very well protected. There's a massive garden behind the palace itself. But we will indeed walk past the palace later on and on to Horse Guards Parade. Horse Guards Parade is an incredible area as well. It's, it hosts many events like Troop in the Colour and state visits, etc. So it is a busy junction. You can see very well used here at High Park Corner. I believe the Household Cavalry will be riding through very soon. Again, let me know where you're tuning in from. And if you have any questions as well, write in the comment box below and I'll get back to you. I can imagine a lot of people thinking, why are you just filming? the road and that's because something super exciting is about to happen and I'm really intrigued to see what uniform they're wearing as yesterday we were expecting to see the change from the winter uniform to the summer uniform and lots of people were really surprised that they were still in their winter attire which is quite unusual but apparently it's to keep Make sure the soldiers are comfortable during the cold conditions. It has really been, it's been wet and rainy and windy, considering we are meant to be in spring. It's, everyone's hoping just to have it just a little bit warmer. Now, one thing that you're certainly not allowed to do, oh, we've got some activity. A police officer here, she is opening the gate. That is a good sign. And that will be because we have some horse-mounted police here. 
and they are likely to be escorting the cavalry this morning through the busy junction. I was just going to explain, you're not allowed to be on the road at all when the military are being escorted. So police officers will quickly tell you to stand back. If not, the cavalry themselves will also tell you to stand back. So you're allowed to be on the path or the sidewalk for all our American viewers, but do not step onto the road. So as I said earlier, we are going to walk with the Household Cavalry all the way down to Buckingham Palace and then continue on to Horse Guards Parade. And that's going to be an incredible walk. I will try and keep up with them. Now by the palace it might be super busy so I'll have to take a quick cut through to make sure that we can stay side by side with the Cavalry themselves. Okay, so I see some lights in the distance, some blues and twos flashing lights. That means the household cavalry are on their way and they are soon to be riding through Wellington Arch right in front of us. This is super exciting. What uniform are they going to be wearing today? So there's definitely some movement happening. You can see right there between the archway we have We did just see a glimpse of the police vehicle and who do we have coming through? They're about to stop the traffic here, right here on Hyde Park Corner. And what do we see there? Wow, okay, so we have the lifeguards, but unfortunately they are still in their winter attire. You can see their scarlet long coat here. Now, I wasn't expecting that this morning. This is quite unusual. They should have already switched over into their spring and summer attire. However, they have been granted to keep wearing their winter attire as the conditions have been extremely cold. We have armed police here in the vehicles stopping all sorts of traffic. But it's an incredible morning today, 1st of April. This is the lifeguards, household cavalry. Traffic has stopped. People have stopped. Everyone in awe of what they're seeing. Just fantastic to see that this morning. So nevertheless, even though they're in 
even though they're in their winter attire still. It's wonderful to see them and walk through Constitution Hill. Downside, down past the side of Buckingham Palace Garden, just there behind the wall. Looking fabulous. Regal, powerful. We have horse mounted police at the back and more support vehicles and units here. So do make, make sure to give this video a like if you're enjoying the video. I am also dodging bicycles, runners, as I'm walking full speed ahead to keep up with the cavalry this morning. There we go. It's a stunning day here. So as I, I'll just pan around here quickly to show you exactly where we are. So just here to the left is Green Park. And that continues down to the Mall, which is the long red road that leads up to Buckingham Palace. And then on the other side of the Mall is St. James's Park. So they're pretty much adjacent to one another. Now it is surprising to see the guards still at this time of the year wearing their winter outfits, their winter uniform. But it's a great thing that they're still comfortable at this moment. And I think any time this week, or possibly next week, we will see them in their summer uniform. But really and truly, no one actually knows But stay up to date on this channel as we really do bring you the best content all about King's Guards. So we're just approaching Buckingham Palace here. So an acknowledgement to the palace itself as they ride past. So it is extremely busy up here ahead of me. Acknowledgement to the palace.
It's the changing of the guard. You can hear in the background. We have musicians approaching the palace. So I don't think that I'm going to walk through there as there's loads of people. So bear with me as I'm going to make a quick scurry around the back of this wall and we are going to line ourselves back up with the household cavalry. Yeah, super busy around there. So a little cut through as I try and navigate around lots of excited tourists. People standing on the walls, shouldn't really be doing that, but people have traveled miles and hours to just see this quick moment. So my promise to you is to catch up with the household cavalry and I'm sticking to that promise and we're gonna come out on the other end of this wall and we should be side by side with the horses and the guards, again. So busy. A few news outlets there as well for some reason. I wonder what that's for. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, so. Have we caught up with the guards? Yes, we have. There we go. Now that was a little secret cut through. <laughs> It allowed us to stay with the guards as we walk down the mall towards Horse Guards Parade. Now I'll just show you the path. Very busy. Bear with me as I just adjust my equipment. Okay. So as you can imagine, it's quite, it's quite difficult walking and keeping up with the horses here as they They're definitely riding at a faster pace than, let's say, a casual stroll. So I'm walking quite quickly to keep up. But we're doing well. I do hope that you're enjoying this video. Occasionally the horses do get quite close to one another and then they decide to um, do their own thing, let's just say that. But the guards do an excellent job of controlling the horses. So we're about halfway down the mall now. Just going to stay here. I'm going to back off a bit, so because I am actually 
on the road right now, but I was relatively far away, so the police were fine with that. And I'm now back on the path. So they've just sped up. This gentleman here at the back gave a command for the horses to speed up as they, wow, that's quite incredible. That's a fast pace. I might have to start running as they need to be on time to arrive at Horse Guards Parade. Now, shall I run with them? I think I will. Bear with me, I'm not going to narrate at the same time. Okay, we have slowed back down. The command has been given to slow back down. They caught up a little bit of time there and I'm catching my breath. So we have literally just gone down the hole of the mouth just then. We're going to continue and watch the guards arrive onto the horse guards parade area. So what just happened then was they have to arrive at horse guards parade for a very specific time. And that is the it's around 11 a.m. as the bell tower strikes. You will hear that indeed in a few minutes time. So they sped up the pace. Again, armed officers in the unit here. But I think we did an excellent job of keeping up with the cavalry this morning. It's great to have you on board. Thank you for tuning in. All right, so we have made it to Horse Guards Parade.
Now that was an exciting journey. So as I'll just pan ever so quickly. So we're on Horse Guard Parade here. Already hundreds, if not thousands of people lined up to witness the lifeguards this morning. Police officer telling the public to stand back as the horses approach. Here we are, we are on Horse Guards Parade. It's extremely busy here. There goes the chime at 11 o'clock. Okay, everyone, so we have just had the lifeguards here in Scarlet Red arrive here on Horse Guards Parade and they are going to switch out with the old guard right here, which is the Blues and Royals Regiment. And they will wait here for approximately half an hour facing one another and then more Blues and Royals will exit this arch here at Horse Guards 
join the rest of their troops and then they will ride back to the barracks in Hyde Park, so Hyde Park Barracks. And it's a continuation of where we just came from. And they... And that is the pathway of changing of the guards for the household cavalry here. So the sun is shining and you can see it's gleaming down on the helmets here and the helmets are glistening bright in the sunshine. You can definitely feel the warmth of the sun right now. Let me just take you around the area here at Horse Guard. So you can see all this scaffolding and seating area and construction work is actually it's the beginnings of the seating area for trooping the colour here in the midsummer. I believe that's the 2nd, 8th and 15th of June. The Blues and Royals look fantastic this morning as well. But like I said, they are still in their winter attire, soon to be in their summer attire. And traditionally, they would have switched over already. But to give extra comfort to the cavalry, they've been allowed to stay in their long coats to keep warm. Quite incredible and you can see just here that it's just gone 11 a.m. here on Monday the 1st of April and they were perfectly timed as they sped up their pace to arrive here dead on 11 o'clock and you heard the chimes ding Now walk around so you can feel the, the size of this area. It's quite a big area. Again, we really are just on the grounds of where Troop in the Colour happens. And it's just an incredible show. They work so hard, incredible routines, very well rehearsed, incredible dedication. And like I said, make sure to stay tuned, subscribe, to get all the latest updates, really do take pride in bringing you the best content. And again, if you've not hit that like button, do me a favor, hit that like button right now. It really does help. And I'm really glad that you're enjoying this video. So let's get a closer look at the guards right here. So you can see they have a gold plume on top of their helmets. Scarlet cloaks. Horses are very well behaved today and adjacent is the Blues and Royals with red plumes and dark navy blue cloaks as well.
It's just been fantastic to take you around here. Just like you're here in real life, as these people are expectating, are spectating as well. I do like continuously rolling these videos just so it feels like you're here if you can't make it to London. Or if indeed you have been to London, then you can see these guards in full glory through this channel. Okay, everyone, well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave it there. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me this morning from Hyde Park Corner, watching the guards ride through Wellington Arch, all the way down the side of Buckingham Palace Garden and past Buckingham Palace itself this morning. And down the Mall onto Horse Guards Parade. Definitely stay tuned for the guards to be switching out to their summer attire ever so soon. And I will see you again in our next video.